And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Oakland Athletics. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab in this one, number 38. Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. Leading off, Here's Mookie Betts. For the, the short shot, Mookie Betts. And a pitch. That swings deep drive. Left field. Way back there. Hits the fence. Betts into second. Oh, no waiting around right, right there. He was ready to the swing it on the first the pitch. Ball. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Swing and a high fly ball to left. It falls in and that's a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. First and second, no outs. Now the batter now, Will Smith. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is cool. Take a look at the lineup, and the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. With the go-ahead run standing at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Two on, one out. Laser! Could be extra bases. Flying around third is Betts. One runs in. To the plate, and he's out. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a miss as that one was high. Two outs. Down the line. On his way over. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Kicks and deals. Oh, Just one. off the outside edge. One ball. Yeah, the count one and two. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. 
Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And he can't make the play. The throw in, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Oscar Hernandez. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that is that. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Dodgers two and the A's nothing. Back here with my pal Siggy and our pitcher in this game, Shohei Otani. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I've become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go yeah, into a run. slumber. They've got to put up some runs, three. make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Ryan Noda, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't get the... Oh, he can't bring it in. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Zach Gellar up next for the A's. That one down the line, oh. and it goes just foul. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a run after off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. A lot of times in today's game, the right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Now it's the DH, Brent Rooker. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Out towards right center field. Hernandez has it sized up. But misjudges this one, and it's down. Will comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So here's Brown at the plate. Golden opportunity right here. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. Struck him out. First punch out of the game for Otani, and we all know Shohei brings a lot of talent to the field on both sides of the ball. That splitter is perhaps his biggest weapon on the mound. It's nasty when it's right. He gets a lot of swings and misses with that pitch. So two in scoring position with one out. Now it's J.D. Davis. And that one fouled off. To the right side, Lux. In plenty of time to first. Out number two, and another win comes in. This is JJ Blade. 
No left How many field. times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Runner at third, two away. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Second inning set to go. And now here's the veteran DH, Chris Taylor. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Late on that fastball. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easy... Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Kike Hernandez. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Just couldn't keep it fair. A little bit high. And the count one and two. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. One down, base is empty. Ah! Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. And now it's Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. To the right side. And that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning going. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something no, he no, could no. handle. He kind of That's rolled good. over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough yeah. behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Mookie now. One for one with a double and a run score. Ha! And a big swing and a miss. I love this part no of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. It's 4-2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball here comes freddie freeman up to hit he's got the power but great contact skills one of the best contact hitters in the game and first offering is fouled off 
Freeman goes six feet five inches a member of the 2000 hit club can't forget to mention he's a former MVP two out spaces empty out there to center he's got it and that is out number three but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer it's now 4-2 you're dialed into the show Bottom of the inning, here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. All right, singing, you know him, dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one away. Away, 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 and clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play, and that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch, and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Gets him to chase after that one. No ball, one strike. One. And a foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Nick Allen up next for the A's. And that one got a piece of him. Well in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. Let off this game with a double. Step off. Oh, he jumped early. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. to the plate comes two. up empty that's strike two. Oh, two. and a swing and a miss that ends the frame a lot of adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning Back in Oakland, out of the third okay. inning, the batter now okay. will be Will Smith. Smith. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length That's in this enough. one. Sends it across the first. One up, one down. Now batting. Third base. Third base. Max. Max. Here comes Max, Max Muncy. A double and a run scored his first time up. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a foul ball. Quick. Foul ball. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Drops for a hit, he couldn't run it down.
Now back. Left field. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 1. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. That one ripped, but foul. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Oh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One left for L.A. as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back here in the East Bay, ready to go for the last the half of the inning. inning. Now at the plate, Zach Geloff. And he deals. That one ripped. That's back there. He brought it back. Rob's a potential solo shot right there. And that'll fire your team up, but even more so the player. I'm excited to see how they respond. So digging in, Brent Rooker doubled in his first A.B. Late on that fastball. No ball, one strike. The Dodgers up by two here in the last half of the third. And a pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Hernandez has it sized up. And that'll fall for a base hit. The right field. Number Digging 15. in for Oakland, Seth Brown. Brown. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there are two down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride okay, up in the Double zone ball. right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that yeah, velocity yeah, yeah. at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Bounce to the left side. And that'll do it. They were ready early on. Just a three-inning game, but we saw a lot of action. That was as much a slugfest as you could hope for in this type of contest. And your final 4-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left two runners on base.